Fish it. Fish it. Fish it. He's fishing it. foot boat trailer it's kind of heavy so I'm taking some weight off and I'm gonna turn this into a kayak trailer I think I'm gonna try to do one that'll hold four uh, but we'll see how I can figure this out I've got some scrap metal over there that I picked up and I first started off by just taking some weight off where I started at was to just take some weight off this thing because this is a heavy trailer and putting four kayaks on here, especially mine, weighs about a hundred and something pounds. So I wanted to take some weight off of this thing so it was easy for the truck to pull. I've already taken the bunks off. I've taken the, the hull rest off of here. I've taken the bump stop off the top. All that together is probably 150 pounds or so. So I'm still gonna shorten this thing up and try to take some of this out and weld it back together. Um, I'm fortunate enough to know how to do all this stuff. I'm pretty creative and I know how to use a welder. So let's see how this goes. All right, now I wanna see exactly how long I want this thing so I know how far to shorten it up. I know that I'm probably not gonna carry anything over 14 feet. So I'm gonna have some length hanging off the back and I want this thing to be as short as I can, but still be able to turn without anything getting in the way of the back of the truck. So I'm gonna measure it off. I'm gonna clamp these down for my straight line across here, exactly how much I wanna cut off, and I'm gonna cut this section out, however much length I need, I'm gonna cut from here all the way up, and then just bring this whole thing back in again. I know this is going to be a shorter distance from here to here, so what I'm going to do first is in these corners, it's bolted on right now, but I'm going to grind that out and weld that together on both sides. That way that's nice and sturdy. I don't have to worry about any of this coming apart. And then when I shorten this up, I'm going to bring this whole thing in here, bolt that back on once I drill a hole in it, and then just weld these two pieces, this side and that side, to this cross rail. So it's gonna take a lot of weight out of here and it's gonna be a lot shorter because I don't need this thing to be 18 feet long. So the actual length of this trailer is 20 feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out five feet of the center section to give me a 15 foot trailer. Should be plenty of room. Even if I haul a 14 foot kayak on here, um, which my neighbor has if I ever take him out I can put it on top because I plan on making a rack on top of this thing put two more up so I'm gonna go ahead and mark everything out take my five feet mark it and then start cutting it up That's, uh, that's five feet.
Alright, got everything marked off, squared up. I'm going to weld these corners in on here, unbolt that, brace this up, and start packing it apart. Alright, let's do some grinding. First things first, gears, gloves, safety glasses. I need my hands and my eyes. Gears don't work half the time anyway. Got all four corners welded up. I'm gonna put some buckets under here just to brace it because I'm gonna start cutting. First thing I'm gonna do is take this carriage bolt out right here. Just holding that into place. I'm gonna reuse this when I cut that section off. I'm just gonna bring this whole thing down, bolt it back into here. I'll put two pieces on there. I'll be good to go. For now, I'm gonna take that out. Cut these off and then stick it back together. Alright, time to cut this thing apart. making a mess. Well, kind of. Cut it all into pieces. Now it's like a big puzzle I gotta put back together. Then I'm gonna bring this tongue in down here, slide it into that bolt-on section, mark my holes, drill my hole, put my carriage bolt back in, and then weld these two ends on there after I clean everything up to get some nice good welds on. Alright, that's where it's gonna sit. There. I'm gonna clean these up, clean that up, throw my hole, weld these together, put my bolt in, and then I'll work on what the rack's gonna look like for up here. See if I've got enough scrap metal to do it. Alright, so the next thing I gotta do is take off these fenders and the axle which is really just four U-bolts here and there and group this axle down to the middle of this or almost the middle just down a little bit to counter out the weight on the trailer that way it's not so heavy on one end or the other and then uh, after that we'll figure out where the crossbars have to go and then uh, rank up top. It started raining pretty good, so 
I'll help you guys inside. I got these knocked out. There's a wrist right on there. I'll weld all the way around it. I'm going to get those cleaned up. And then I'll work on the upper rails to go to the top rail after that. I got all my riser tubes cut and arched up so I can weld them on here. That's my next step. Let's get at it. The riser rails are up. Time to grind down the side of the top rails to get those welded on. I'm going to go ahead and set them in place, mark it, grind it off, put it back and weld it. We've got the top rails ground down and ready to weld. Let's melt some metal. done. I don't feel like I need any support brackets here. This thing, this is stout steel and I've welded the crap out of it so it's not going anywhere. I mean, two kayaks up top, two kayaks on the bottom. It's, it's not going anywhere. I mean, you could load this thing down. It's a scout trailer. So, on the agenda next time is to get this thing ground down, wire brushed, painted, put some lights on it, and then put some kayaks on it and go to the lake. Well folks, there it is. Cut down, freshened up, shortened up, cleaned up. Now it'll hold four. I made these bunks adjustable. I just gotta loosen the brackets underneath. You can move them in and out. They're set at 12 inches right now. I think I'll move them over a little bit. But, uh, yeah, new wiring, all that good stuff, all the lights work. Fancy schmancy, a little hard work put into it. Nice trailer. Till next time, folks. Maybe I'll go fishing. <laughs>